Life uh, in sunny California. Well, I hope it is sunny today. Uh, Michael, good to see you. Let's try this again. Uh, we just showed some pictures of the, of, the, um, of the Imagine. It looks great. It's fantastic, isn't it? It is uh, the first of a new class of vehicles for us. We're calling it the Spaceship 3 class. And you know, we are intending as a company to open up space for thousands and then tens of thousands of people. And that's going to need a, a fleet of vehicles, many more than we have today. But this is the start of the fleet. This is our uh, first Spaceship 3 and our second ship and the fleet. And we are already starting work on the next Spaceship 3, VSS Inspire. Uh, we were really, really thrilled to bring this out today. Okay, so so wh what does this one actually do? What's its role in the program? So the Virgin Galactic spaceships uh, are all centered around taking regular folks uh, up to space, private astronauts, giving them this incredible view back to the planet, and then bringing them back safely down with a memory that I think they'll share for uh, for their lifetimes. And so that requires for us to do this at scale, many, many spaceships for every spaceport in which we operate. And the spaceships that we create have to be able to fly many, many times a year. Mm. And so this Spaceship 3 class has stepped us forward. It is much designed with all the learnings from our first one so that we can turn it around much more quickly and fly it more frequently. And that's going to wow. let us take more people to space. So how long would, would a journey be? So this, so this is is the one that will be will be shuttling people who are paying huge sums of money into space uh what it what how long is that journey going to be so it honestly it probably starts from the moment people sign on board with us but the journey really hits its peak in the five days around the flight itself uh and then in all the preparation training we'll do when it gets to flight day uh, the mothership we have will carry these spaceships up to about fifty thousand feet uh, it will separate, go through the speed of sound the spaceship will, and then go up uh, well over the 50-mile astronaut line and uh, give people this incredible view back to the planet. They'll be weightless, actually looking down through these big windows in the ceiling as you look back down onto the planet. And then the ship will come back, act like a glider, and fly uh, back down to the same runway in which the whole thing took off. And that whole th um, effort on flight day is probably an hour to an hour and a half. Okay. So... Uh, talk about safety, uh, what goes into it, and the, the mirrored kind of design as well. Well, let's talk about safety. Uh, and this is human spaceflight, something that most of us probably thought would never happen in our lifetimes, uh, and yet it is here today. But it's not yet normalized, and that's that's a big part of what has to happen is getting used to see people coming up to space. But for human space flight, that means every step we take has to be done safely. And the entire culture of this company is founded upon that principle. Now, it's Virgin Galactic, which also means we bring great design, great aesthetic, and great experience to this. And the livery we've put on this is stunning. It is a completely reflective material. Happens to be one that is for engineering reasons. It is part of our thermal protection system, but it's so gorgeous that we put it across the entirety of the ship and it takes on the characteristics of the environment. So what it looks like in the ground uh, changes as it goes to the sky and changes again yet in space. Uh, yeah. It'll be brilliant to watch. And and, and the, the wing design, it, it, it kind of loops around almost. What's the point of that? Uh, I mean, I'm... I'm Definitely no expert. Is it? It's all about aerodynamics. So I think you're saying when it um, uh, the the vertical stabilizers we call them the feathers. Step That's up. right. Yeah. Uh, yes. So it does two things. Um, functionally, when it's up in space and you're weightless, uh, it allows the ship to tip over and give you this view back to the planet. So you're uh, in a weightless environment, which is you're inverted. You you will won't feel inverted because you're weightless, yeah. but you will actually be looking out through the roof. But then when it comes down and it writes up, this is a very special design, uh, and it comes down in a very aerodynamic form, such that you come down in a controlled state, almost like the birdie on a badminton, a shuttlecock on a badminton game, and you come down in a very controlled fashion, and then it folds back and flattens up, and then you the spaceship performs as a glider. Right. And it actually glides back to the same runway where we took off. Amazing. So you've still got some test flights to go, Michael. When are you expecting this all to, to actually proceed for real? So we, will, uh, we plan to be back in May uh, on finishing our test flight program. We'll send two of our test pilots up, and then we've announced three flights that follow. Uh, the next will be with our internal team checking out all the cabin procedures. 
And then in a flight that I think will really showcase the private astronaut experience to the world, uh, Richard Branson, our founder, is going to come on and uh, take that flight. And who better to kind of demonstrate what this experience will be? Wow. Uh, then we've announced one more flight with the Italian Air Force that will showcase the scientific research and professional astronaut training capabilities of the spaceship. Fantastic. Michael, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Best of luck. We will talk to you again soon. Thank you.